So, Killian Murphy, Jamie Dornan, how are you both? Good, mate. How are you doing? Thank Good. You. Yeah, very well, thank you. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, so, what would you both say um, sets Anthropoid apart from any other war film out there? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, um, I think the story is, first of all, not very well known outside of the Czech Republic. And I think, I think it'll be quite a revelation to people, cinema goers, you know. To, to realize that this 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 incident in history took place and how influential it was in the course of the Second World War and then in the course of over you know how it affected the course of history really um, and then you know it's a true story and I think that the characters in it what Jamie, what Jamie and I both responded to in the script was that the characters were so human and so uh, believable. Uh, and you spend a lot of time in the film getting to know these characters before the sort of the big, big um, assassination attempt occurs. So I think, you know, it's a different type of war film. I think it's a kind of old fashioned in, in, in many ways, mm -hmm. which I think is a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I hope that that's what separates it. Definitely. Would you, yeah. yeah, I mean, I touch more on the character aspect of it in terms of I don't often think with war films you have and I mean there's plenty that do but there's also plenty that don't you don't have a huge investment in the in the characters and the, and the soldiers that you're literally seeing being shot at or in, in these very compromising awful situations um, but as Killian said you get to spend so much time with, with, with Jan and Yosef and, and getting a uh, good understanding of who they are and 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 how they deal with the crazy situation that they they find themselves in and and then I think the way they respond to the situation I find very relatable and identifiable um particularly for Jan for my character I I, I really sort of resonated with me how he responded to the to the situation sure and uh, you're both actors who uh tend to start in uh, more dramatic roles than comedic ones uh, is that a conscious decision as an actor, or is it literally the scripts that come in, the ones that you like, are the ones with those roles? Uh, yes, actually, yeah. it tends to be that. I mean, I love love watching comedies or whatever, but the films that I really, really, the ones that are close to my heart, I guess, are the <clears throat> the, the dramatic ones, you know, and the, yeah. the pieces of, generally not just films, like pieces of art and literature and everything, they tend to be the ones, I think, where the stakes are raised. And to me, that is drama. The greater the stakes, the greater the drama. Completely. And that to me is more compelling to watch. And that's, I guess, the sort of material that I'm drawn to. Really. Sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but relatively similar to me. And, and I guess uh, you play a couple of roles that uh, are dramatic uh, and, or intense or whatever. And, and um, just so happens the way the industry, you're not, you wouldn't be at first on uh, like you know comedy producers list based <laughs> on the fact that you haven't played anything remotely comic yet. Um, Paul Spector. No, exactly. Comedy. I mean that's just you know I mean the two of us together in a comedy <laughs> just isn't going to happen. Uh, <laughs> I don't think any studio or or independent filmmaker would think that was a good idea. Um, so yeah, it is funny just the way it goes. Although it, I always think it's weird about this industry. It could have gone very differently if your first yeah. break had been something where you were comedic yeah. and a comedic, and then suddenly you're, but you know, and then you do sometimes get. I think there's lots of actors who are comedy actors, and they do something dramatic, and you, you know, people go, "Wow, he's really good in that." I was like, "Why yeah. wouldn't he? He's an actor. Yeah. Why wouldn't <laughs> exactly. he?" Be, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, as uh, two stars of very different but equally successful BBC dramas, uh, how has how uh, have you found that that has impacted your career? Um, well, television is in such a great place at the moment, you know, and I think uh, both The Fall and Peaky Blinders are great kind of ambassadors for British television in terms of that they both are loved uh, kind of all over the world, yeah. you know, they're not just at home and in mm -hmm. Ireland and it's kind of mad and coincidental that we both ended up, you know, being involved in those and then also making films and uh, you know there's a lovely cross migration I think now between telly and, and, and film and a lot of the great great writing that you used to find in sort of independent film has now um, moved to television so yeah. you know if you have a nose for good writing then you'll kind of follow it and sure. a lot of it has moved towards television and I think I became aware of that you know a few years ago so I was kind of looking for something that would um, 
that would stimulate me that way in the television world. Sure. And just really want to quickly uh, finish by asking you, how does it uh, feel to be leaving behind Paul Spector? Am I leaving behind Paul Spector? Can we say that? I thought that it, it was announced Ooh. it was the third and final series. I, I don't know. If, uh, was it, was that I think you've just given something else. <laughs> that might be an exclusive. Uh, Could well be. Um, yeah, look, I mean, that, that, put simply, that job has totally changed my life, yeah. um, professionally, certainly. And... Um, uh, like I know Killian feels with, with, with Thomas Shelby in Peaky, like these are characters I would play it if, if they wanted to make the fall for the rest of my life I would happily play Paul Spector um, I love it and I, there's something to be said about television it's been four and a half years of my life the, the crew are like family to me um, I find it hugely comforting to do that job despite the, the content and how hard it can be um, that television gives you that you know, which you don't get on movies a lot of the time. Yeah. And I love that aspect of it. You know, it's the closest thing to sort of normality in, in our industry, I think, if you're on a, a, a series that, that has multiple uh, series, yeah. Brilliant.